Alright, this is a website that's discussing the 10 most radioactive places on the earth. It is fairly honest, I would say. There's probably one or two places they don't mention, but I think it's quite honest, and we'll go through these places just now. You know, I was out the other day handing out the flyers, and uh, a lot of people are just not aware. They think it's a joke um, about Sellafield. They've never heard anything about Sellafield or... Um, you know, Fukushima really being so dangerous. So we're just going to look at the top 10 places. Hanford, USA. Um, in Washington. An integral part of the US atomic bomb project manufacturing plutonium for the first nuclear bomb. And Fat Man used that in Nagasaki. It's a Cold War waged on ramped up production supplying plutonium for most of America's 60,000 nuclear weapons there you go 53 million gallons of liquid waste 25 million cubic feet of solid waste 200, so it's obviously radioactive <laughs> I don't know exactly where it is in Washington but I wouldn't be going there for my vacation <laughs> the Mediterranean Mediterranean, Israel, situated in the Mediterranean, Turkey, um, Italy, Greece. For years there have been allegations that the Nadrangheta syndicate of the Italian Mafia has been using the seas as a convenient location in which to dump hazardous waste, including radioactive waste, char um, charging for the service and pot pocketing the profits, which is happening, obviously, just happening over the world, and they're telling you it's global warming. Please wake up. Um, Legam Betty, I think that's how you pronounce that. I can't, I can't pronounce it. Legam Betente suspects that about 40 ships loaded with toxic and radioactive waste have disappeared in Mediterranean waters since 1994. Okay, this is very hidden by the way, the Mediterranean. But I was told when I was in Israel by um, reliable a reliable source, just let's say, um, a gentleman that I got back in the plane, that certain parts of Israel are not really to go in and swim in. Especially where the port is, the only port in Israel. Somalian coast. Again, we've got the Italian Mafia involved with this. It's quite an eye-opener, isn't it? I mean, we should really get a map of those um, as well to look at them, but uh, this is obviously, you know, if you're from these areas, you can uh, really take care um, about going into the water, uh, into the seas around you, because a third of the a third of the sea creatures are now dead, and we're now just waiting for a third of the ships to be destroyed, as as Jesus saw in his revelation to John, telling us what is going to be happening in the last days. These are the last days of mankind that that we're witnessing. Um, until the, the Jesus comes, you know, renews the earth and resurrects the saints. I think it's uh, important to highlight those who are destroying the earth because, you know, it's, it's, God, it's God who made the earth and th this is our home. Um, but, you know, we've uh, destroyed it or Satan has used humanity to destroy the earth and God says he will destroy them. I think it's Revelation... 11.18 that says that, I believe. So I'll let you go down and read that. Seven, you've got Mayak, Russia. You've got a lot of Russian sites, by the way. So I feel that this is a good website in the fact that it highlights some of the ones that we don't consider. It's in the Russian Northeast. It's a nuclear plant, plant for decades. 1957 was the site of one of the world's worst nuclear accidents. We don't hear much about uh, about that, do we? Mayak in Russia. 400,000 people have been exposed to radiation from from the pl plant 
as a result of the various serious accidents that have occurred, the yeah, accidents, quote unquote, I would say, that the people who control the nuclear power industry, I believe, are probably the most wicked people um, on, on planet Earth. Unless there's a whole bunch of aliens about to uh, destroy our sun, which uh, there's an article about that very recently. But I'm sure they won't, because uh, otherwise they'll have no one to bully, will they? Because they use the Earth for their resources, if you take it as fact that they exist. They really need us more than we possibly need their technology. And that's what the you know the human governments of the Earth have done deals with uh, these these fallen beings, you know, to get their technology and then we give them resources and, you know, access to different things on the earth, which they're, they would take anyway. But um, they're trying, they're trying to portray themselves as some sort of moral saviors of humanity or some crap that we're going to be getting spoon fed. Or we get spoon fed through uh, maybe Star Trek or there's various sort of things that we get spoon fed about anyhow Sellafield UK um, the cancer rate around there is incredible I mean look look at the figures there the plant releases some 8 million litres of contaminated waste into the sea on a daily basis yeah when was the last House, House of Commons debate about Sellafield well, that's really put to the back burner, isn't it? Who cares about um, Liverpool? Well, the Liverpudlings, of course, that live in that area, very, very high cancer rate, um, and it's affected not just the west coast of Britain and the Irish Sea. You're talking about Ireland, England, Wales, Scotland, uh, with the starfish melting recently. An article about that very recently. Um, which I'll pull up, I suppose, uh, I'll, I'll just leave a link below about that article. Um, this should be, we should be knocking down the Houses of, of Parliament ab about this issue to shut down Sellafield immediately. There, there, there's um, about a dozen different ways you can produce electricity, hydroelectric, wind farms, which they're doing more and more of. Um, there's a lot of safe ways you can produce electricity, but they're not doing it. You know, and this is this is what they'll do. If you uh, start to protest, you know, there'll be a lot of power cuts will happen, and that's that's how they get back. If you open your mouth about it, but I think it's vital that um, is destroying the earth. The nuclear power industry is destroying the environment that we live in, and it's about time. Why can't people just realise that? Serbian Chemical Combine in Russia. Make is not the only contaminated site in Russia. Um, Siberia is a home to a, um, a chemical facility that contains over four decades worth of nuclear waste. Very nice. I know they used to send um, criminals to Siberia in Russia. Liquid waste is stored in uncovered pools and poorly maintained containers well over 125,000 tons of solid waste, while underground storage has the potential to leak to underground water. What, why do you think the polar bears are dying off? Why do you think um, um, the North Pole part of it is melting? Apparently the South Pole is as well. Because of nuclear waste. I'm, I'm not sure if there's any nuclear waste in the South Pole, but there is quite a lot around the North, the North Pole. Um, yes, the, uh, you know, the magnetic North Pole has moved 200 miles in the past uh, 20 or so years. So, yes, there is a, being a pole shift happening. You know, that's one of the videos on my channel. You get a lot of questions about it. So, yes, there is a pole shift already been happening, is happening right now. And the Earth has been pumped with the chemtrails as well, which is causing an electromagnetic effect and a tilt to the earth. The earth could just tilt at any point and go any direction, but it has been moving. So there is a pole shift. It's not like a future event. It is gradually happening, which some scientists say that it could just flip at some point. Something could just happen. 
Kazakhstan. Borat, is that Borat country? Once the location of the Soviet Union's nuclear weapons testing, this area is now part of modern day Kazakhstan. Okay, I'm not sure where it is on that map. Polygon. Where is Polygon on that map? Can't see it. Astana, they seem to have highlighted that. Astan. Astana, that's that really sort of um, Illuminati city, isn't it? It's got all the pyramids in it and all that glass pyramids and stuff. Okay. The fact that 700 lived there, facility was U USSR, donated its first nuclear bomb. Record holder for the place was large concentrations of nuclear explosions. Okay. Well, it's a test site and, um, you know, like the North Pacific has been a test site for you know around the cold cold war time number three uh melu su melu su karagzestan oh it sounds like russia or somewhere there's a map there it said to be one of the top 10 most polluted sites on earth by the 2006 blacksmith institute report radiation comes not from the nuclear bombs or power plants but from the mining of materials needed in the process the entail, the area was home to uranium mining. Okay, so it's just a, a mineral then, or u uranium, uh, something that, that, that is mined, and it's found in certain rocks, just, just as it is, I believe, to the southwest of England. There's quite a, lot, quite a high rate of radiation there because of the high levels of uranium that's found down there. Um, Chernobyl, one of the world's most infamous nuclear accidents, and it's still affecting um, things today. Even though I think the, the the animals are are not too bad, I think around the area it's settling down a little bit. I've watched a few videos about Chernobyl, um, but yeah, it's an extremely high rate of cancer around there. Um, so it's still, you know, it has half life of what, um, th hundreds of thousands of years, you know, the nuclear waste, so six million people, well, it's probably a lot more than that, I mean, it's probably right across Europe, but nuclear, um, levels have been picking up around Europe for the past year, so, why is this? Well, it's cause of Fukushima. I mean, you've also got um, Sellafield as well, which could be further up the list because it's very, very active just now. Um, and I think that's just a, re a reserve figure that they give there. Um, and it's so um, covered over by the British politicians, you know, they, they just ignore it, completely ignore it. Yeah, they won't even talk about it. But the Fukushima, will I be going to the Olympics in 2012? No, I won't be going. Um, you've got tons of information on Fukushima, independent websites. Obviously, Dana Darnford is, is one of these guys. But um, please don't be chewing sake and, you know having really anything from Japan for the next uh, million years because I think uh, you're going to put yourself and your family at risk so this is a heads up God bless you